You are welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I am Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary is intended to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Friday, the third day of June 2022. And our topic for today is Love for Once. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, our Lord and our God, the one who is loving and kind. We thank you for how you have kept us and sustained us. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for making all things work together for good. Thank you for daily loading us with your benefits. We thank you for your word that is before us today again. We are grateful and we say thank you in the name of Jesus. We are here before you again, Lord, to hear you speak to us. We ask that as your word comes forth, we would cease to hear the voice of man and hear your own divine instructions. Grant us the grace also to be aligned with the instructions that we would receive, all to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 2. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2 reads, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2. Matthew chapter 24 verse 43 to 51 is our scripture reading for today. Matthew 24 verse 43 to 51 reads, But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord had made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is love for once. And in the body of our devotional today, we have our Father and the Lord telling us today that many a time, God would warn man about what was going to happen or about the consequences of his actions. Before Cain took the action that led to him killing his brother, God warned him about it in Genesis chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. It reads, and the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wrought? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Even though God warned him, Cain did not change his ways. He killed his brother and had to face the consequences. When Jesus Christ was about to be taken away from his disciples to die for the sins of the world, he warned that Peter would deny him. Peter was boastful, rejoicing about his own abilities. Peter failed like the Lord warned, but thanked God that the mercy of God found and restored him. May the mercy of God find you today and restore to you all you have lost in Jesus' name. Today, out of love, God still warns man about the dangers of his own actions. He said in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Some people think that the Lord Jesus was just telling stories simply because he has not come yet. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 tells us why he hasn't come yet. It reads, The Lord is not slack, concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 
My beloved, when the Bible says that the rapture will take place suddenly, it is not a mere story. The word of God is settled forever. Psalm 119 verse 89 If he says he is coming, he is coming. I hope you will not be among those who will be full of regrets when that day comes. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our topic for today is love for ones. In other words, love would warn you ahead of time. About two days back, we studied the topic Love Gives, where our Father and the Lord made us understand that God loves us so much and so he would not withhold any good thing from us. His love led him to give his son Jesus Christ to restore us back to himself. And as beneficiaries of this great love, it is expected that we also demonstrate love to our brothers and neighbors around. However, we learned that the best kind of love and gift that we can show and give to our brethren around us are not just the regular gifts that we are used to, as much as they may be good. There is something even better, and that is the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. To ensure that beyond the material things that we can give, we also care for their spiritual well-being and their eternal destination. The assurance of all of this is found in our Lord Jesus Christ, and that is the best gift you can ever give anyone. Hallelujah! Yesterday we also learned that love protects. We may never understand the extent of his protection until he opens our eyes to see the chariots of fire and the heavenly army that surrounds us. However, this protection is only available for God's own sheep. Anyone outside his fold is living at his own risk and is like an unguarded city, a city without walls. It is vulnerable to both great and small, vulnerable to any destroyer. Today we have the privilege to study that love for ones. It is true that our God is almighty, but he is also righteous and just. And although he is a God of systems, structure and order, he is also a merciful and loving God. So he would always warn us when we are walking away from his path. Clear examples are given in our devotional today of that of Cain, when he was nursing anger and hatred in his heart against his brother, as well as the example of Peter, when he was told he would deny Jesus, but did not hearken to that warning. When God warns us, it is because of the extent of love he has for us. Just like scripture says, wanting that no man should perish. And today the Lord is yet speaking. He is saying, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. So many people have said so many things with regards to the coming of our Lord Jesus. Some would tell you they've heard that over and over again. Others would tell you the same was told to their forefathers, their grandfathers, their father, and now themselves. They forget the scripture that tells us it is appointed unto man once to die and after death judgment. Please know today that if the Lord Jesus does not come in your lifetime and you have to close your eyes in death, know for sure that it is as good as your own Jesus coming. Because after death, scripture makes us understand that there is no room for repentance. It is important that we understand also that the Lord has promised to come quickly. But how soon that will be, we can never tell. However, we understand from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2, which is our memory verse for today, that that day would come like a thief in the night. And what happens at night? Men sleep. They lose their guard. They are less expectant and possibly unprepared. Part of our scripture reading for today, also talking about the thief and the owner of the house, says if the owner of the house had known the time when the thief would come, he would make appropriate preparations for him. So it goes without saying that since the hour of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is not known, it is wisdom for us to always live prepared. When you walk out of your house in the morning, walk out as someone who is confident that the Lord could come on this day. Modify your lifestyle, your actions, your activities to reflect that of someone who is expectant. Be not among the scoffers who would scoff and make jest at such warnings, only to end up wailing and gnashing their teeth on that day. Remember that our Lord Jesus tells us, I come quickly. If you have not made a choice for him today, do not postpone it anymore. Scripture says today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Recently, we finished a study on the seven seals and we saw the great amount of tribulation awaiting as many as do not make it to heaven. Please, by the mercies of God, 
do not be one of them. Receive the grace to live ready at all times in Jesus' name. We bow our heads now and pray. We say, Father, grant me the grace to heed to your warning in the name of Jesus. No one can forfeit the pleasures of this world except the Lord helps him. Ask for the grace today and say, Father, help me to live with the consciousness of your coming in the name of Jesus. Pray also and say, Father, help me that with the knowledge of what lies ahead, I will not keep calm. Ask the Lord that we would be instruments to bring men into his kingdom in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the grace to be vocal about it, to preach the good news of our Lord Jesus, his love and sacrifice for us, and also the dangers of ignoring such huge sacrifice. Ask the Lord for a tongue that no man can gainsay, that as we speak, the hearts of men would be convicted of sin by the help of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word again. Thank you for reminding us of your imminent second return. Grant us the grace to always live ready and also to come along with as many as you would give us. To the glory of your name, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection today in our devotional that says, How are you preparing for the rapture? Give to yourself a very sincere answer. Receive the grace today to always live prepared in the name of Jesus. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Matthew chapter 24 from verse 43 to 51. Hallelujah. We also want to appreciate you for your coming around and for joining us today. The Lord bless you. We'd love to see more of you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80986-11226. As you go for today, Receive the grace to live expectant of him in the name of Jesus. Our hymn for today is the hymn 24 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing, Through the love of God our Savior. Have an abundantly fruitful day ahead. See you tomorrow again and bye for now. Through the love of God your Saviour, all will be well. Free and changeless is His favour, all, all is well. Precious is the blood that healed us, perfect is the grace that seals us. Strong the hand stretched out to shield us, all must be well. Though we pass through tribulation, all will be well. Ours is such a full salvation, all, all is well. Happy still in God confiding, fruitful if in Christ abiding, holy through the Spirit's guiding, all must be well. Expect a bright tomorrow, all will be well. Faith can sing through days of sorrow, all, all is well. On our Father's love relying, Jesus every need supplying, or in living, or in dying. All must be well. I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.